Scorpio Risings January 2022 is starting the year off on a busy note. You have a project to finish, you have places to be, very, very busy trying to connect with people and places to get this done. If you're excited to dive into what we can expect for your rising sign for the first month of 2022 in January, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date. Starting out in 2022 with what the stars have in store for you. That rhymed. <laughs> And if we haven't met yet, I am Marin. I am an astrologer practicing mostly traditional Hellenistic with whole sign houses and the tropical zodiac. I'm also kind of blunt. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Before we do get started, quick mention of Gemini, my favorite place and my favorite exchange to buy, sell, and trade crypto. It's open to US, including New York residents. So hit up Gemini if you need a place to safely transact crypto. Also shout out to Market Cipher, my favorite trading indicator tool. I have a referral link below if you would like to get in on what I show and use in my charts in order to enter and exit trades. Also shout out to Cointelegraph Markets Pro, what I use to track the news to get in on coins early that are pumping in the market from run the rest of the people check that out below as well so starting off with this year jupiter is now in your pisces fifth house now we'll be there from january until may and then october until december but jupiter is a planet of growth optimism cute shit coming your way and with it in the fifth house of romance and dating and uh, things that are you know having fun partying it could be gambling could be creativity or art projects as well she was that based on a preview from last summer when jupiter was briefly there you are expanding the fun in your life. It looks like a creative project is really what you're working on, or you're working with a romantic partner on a project, and that's why this area of life is so important, but it's really optimistic for here for the next few months. Now, on the second, there's a new moon in your Capricorn third house. New moons are new beginnings, and the third house is around commuting, routine, short-term travel, and new beginnings for content or writing projects that are very serious. Capricorn is very serious when there's a new moon there. It's like getting out to business, like no time to fuck around. And on the eighth and ninth, when there's a Sun Venus conjunction there, it's good news. It is harmony, it's creativity coming your way, you're getting recognized, it's a little bit of affirmation coming your way on the 8th to the 9th. Then on the 10th to the 12th, Mars transiting your second house will be scoring Neptune in your fifth house. Could be some financial trouble as a result of a bit of escapism or lack of clarity coming from your decisions to have fun or be with a partner or creative decisions. Just the, the lack of responsibility in that area of your life is leading to some financial trouble. Not big, but there is some tension there. On the 16th to 17th, there's a Sun-Pluto conjunction in your Capricorn third house. Sun-Pluto is acknowledging manipulation or power dynamics. In the third house could be with a sibling or someone that you see every day, or that you're getting a bit mistreated in your day-to-day -day content writing job, like your day-to-day -day tasks, you're being manipulated out of them, or there's some, some lack of clarity there. But on the 17th, there's a full moon in your Cancer ninth house. An ending or a letting go to a degree that you've been working on, something in higher education, maybe you're leaving school or finishing school, or it could be that you're finally ready to take a long distance trip because the full moons illuminate and the ninth house is long distance. So you could be embarking on a very long distance trip or something that you've always dreamed of getting that is far away and it takes a lot of initiative and willpower to actually go after. Then on the 23rd onward, Venus in your third house will be trining Uranus in your seventh house. So all of this hard work and as a, as a result, all the good things coming to you for your writing and what you're working on are leading to suddenly a relationship relationship doing really well, but suddenly a close partnership is uh, becoming really at the forefront because of all the work you're doing, it connects you to someone. On the 24th, Mars enters your Capricorn third house. So Mars is trouble, it's challenge, but it's also getting shit done, especially when it's exalted in Capricorn. So 24th onward, you have a plan and you are going after writing, communicating, busy, busy, busy all over the place. 28th, Mercury-Pluto conjunction there though, is a little bit like you having to speak your mind, let something be known, some tough communications happening. But on the 29th, we end the month with the Venus retrograde ending and Venus stationing direct there. So you're more aware of your values and you're more ready to settle down into this rhythm of creating content or writing and doing this project rather than feeling like you were going against the grain. You're now ready to be like, okay, this is my routine. This is my plan. And this is what I value. Let me know how this is sounding for you, how the first month of 2022 aligns with what you have in store, any plans, if you have any now. Uh, do let me know in a comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. 
The Oracle deck card that we have for Scorpio Risings for this January is Deep Replenishment, Retreat, Rest, Be Held. This is ironic given that literally the transits show that you're busy, busy, busy. So maybe doing less and letting things come to you is really the recipe for being the most productive because if you're dealing with writer's block or burnout, maybe you need to completely unplug and see what comes your way when you're open rather than closed off trying to run all over the place. And if you have any other thoughts, do comment down below. Make sure that you hit that notification bell, by the way, because I do know some people always have trouble seeing my videos, so we want to make sure that everything can be seen by everyone. In the meantime, hope that you're having an awesome start to the year. Sending my love, sending all my good vibes, or like decent, decent vibes, decent vibes. Sending decent vibes. See you in the next one.